if you've been following along with the channel lately, you'll know I've been getting back into tequila. I did a whole video about tequila production as well as a taste test of some budget mixing tequilas. I usually go for mezcal, but you know, tequila's, tequila's good too. Well, recently an old friend invited me to go down to San Diego uh, to see the Padres game with him. That's baseball, in case you're some kind of barbarian. Now, two things to know about San Diego. One is that I grew up there. The other is that it is home to Old Town Tequila. Now, Old Town Tequila is a sort of tequila wonderland. It's uh, floor-to-ceiling bottles. There are cases all over the floor, blocks the aisles, totally bonkers. They have wine and mezcal, of course, uh, plus some other kind of weird stuff. Nothing has a price tag either. You can ask the friendly staff or you could look it up online. Uh, they keep it all on their website. So I figured as long as I was in San Diego, I had to go check it out. I picked up a few bottles. They shipped it up to me for a very reasonable fee. It all arrives safely, so I'm gonna show you what I got. We'll taste a couple of these, and uh, yeah, should be fun. Let's go. Now I bought four bottles of tequila that uh, may be of interest. Um, the first is G4. This is G4 Blanco, which is a very popular very highly thought of tequila these days. Now the normal Blanco label is a black label. This one is the sort of brown color. Now this is a special limited version called Madeira. Madeira means wood. This bottle was fermented in wooden vats rather than stainless steel vats, which is the sort of the norm there. It's bottle 3,821 out of 10,000 special stuff. I'll do a video later on about this. The other cool bottle that I got uh, from a suggestion from a nice lady working there was this stuff, Curado. Curado is made by the same people who make Ocho. I have a bottle of Ocho as well. Uh, Ocho is made at 1474, that's the nom, uh, the nom here also. 1474. So this is quality stuff from a quality maker. But the interesting thing about this is they take uh, cuprieto, which is a agave normally used for mezcal. They roast it and then they soak the roasted cuprieta in the Blanco tequila. So this is a style I have never heard of before. And they have three different kinds. They have the cuprieta, they have an Espadine version and a Blue Weber version. So I'm looking forward to trying this one as well. Um, and we'll do a video about that in the future too. This video is gonna be focused on these two bottles, Cascanes and Lalo. So I had done a little bit of research and I decided I would seek these bottles out. Uh, and so we're gonna taste them today and I'll tell you all about them. Now first up is Lalo. Now a Lalo is an Altos tequila. It is cooked in a brick oven, crushed with a roller mill. It's fermented using champagne yeast, but it's an open air fermentation. And it's double distilled in a copper pot still. It's bottled at 40 ABV and it is certified no additives. Additive free. Now this one cost $47, which is a little expensive, uh, but not too bad for a nice sipping tequila. The other one I got is called Cascanes. Cascanes is a lowland tequila or a valley tequila. Now it's cooked in a low pressure autoclave, which is basically like a stainless steel oven. It's crushed with a roller mill and it is double steeled in a steel pot still and also bottled at 40 ABV. It is also additive free but it cost me $89. Now I'm not sure exactly all of the production methods that go into everything and why this one costs 89 and the other one only costs 40, but we're gonna taste them and see how we feel. Now one huge difference between these two, besides the price, is that one is a Highland tequila and one is a Lowland tequila. And this is one of the main distinctions you'll hear in tequila. Highland tequilas uh, grow in a higher elevation. The soil at the higher elevations is more iron rich and theoretically the tequilas from higher elevations will be lighter, more mineral, and the tequilas from lower elevations are supposed to be sweeter and a little more viscous. We're gonna test that out today. All right, so let's start with the Lalo tequila. Now I'm pretty sure Lalo only has a Blanco version. It's a pretty small brand as far as I can tell. 
Uh, they do use this champagne yeast, which I think is a little bit unusual. It's a Highland tequila or an Altos tequila, so I'm expecting it to be a little lighter, a little more mineral, a little more subtle perhaps. And this tequila also is not intended to be like a heavy duty sipper. It's supposed to be just more of an enjoyable tequila. And at $47, it's pretty affordable. It's not a kind of ton going on on the nose. A bit of a bit of that cooked agave smell, a little bit peppery. It's a little bit mineral, not not as minerally as some mezcals that I've enjoyed. But it's got a nice sort of it's, uh, peppery, uh, sort of creamy flavor. Yeah. It's delicious. Lalo is a pretty easy going, uh, easy to drink tequila. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll leave a couple of links to the tequila matchmaker and to Old Town Tequila if you want to uh, look more into it or read any reviews, stuff like that. But um, I think it's, you know, it's pretty mild, pretty delicate. I like it. Let's move on to the Cascanes. This is Cascanes. I did a little bit of research on this before I left, but not enough apparently. Um, Cascanes comes in a number seven, a number nine, and a number ten, which I didn't realize before I left. But those are different proofs of they have of the Blanco. Number seven, this what I, what I have is the 80 proof. The number nine is a hundred proof, and the number ten is a 50. 56, 110 proof, 112 proof, something like that. I think if I'd been paying attention, I might have gotten the number nine to see how the 100 proof version was, but this should be delicious as well. Like I was saying before, this is a valley tequila, so a lowland tequila. Uh, should theoretically be uh, a little sweeter, a little thicker mouthfeel, uh, a little more robust and not quite as delicate. Now this did cost about 80 something dollars, which is kind of a lot for tequila, but you know what? I'm worth it. This one has a lot more going on on the nose, sort of a that roasted agave flavor, which is sort of like a like a roasted green pepper or a roasted potato kind of together. It's a little bit spicier. Let's give it a taste. Compared to the Lalo, especially, it's got a thicker mouthfeel. It's more viscous. Mm. Uh, it's got oh, a yeah. nice peppery yeah. flavor. It's got some other spices going on, like maybe like a yeah, like a cardamom or cinnamon. It's got like sort of a cinnamon aftertaste. It's a little bit sweeter. Oh, this is this is really good. Uh, the Lalo is sort of a lighter, more easygoing, maybe make a super fancy margarita. This Cascanes is really more of a sipper, more of a sort of a an, in, an interesting experience sipping it straight. Both of these, by the way, are certified additive free from the Tequila Matchmaker website. Again, I'll leave links down below to where you can look those up on the Tequila Matchmaker. Uh, Cascanas is good. I'm pretty excited to be drinking tequila again. All right, I hope that was fun or informative. I'm gonna review some more tequilas uh, sometime in the future. If that's of interest to you, let me know. Uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.